Hello. We got another multiplication fact video um, just to check to see how you're doing on your progress of knowing your facts in a snap. So do you know which facts are your goal in the order? We've gone over this before, but I'll remind you. First, we learn the twos, the doubling. Then we learn the fives, the tens you already know. Then we get after the threes and the fours. And then finally, the harder facts, six, seven, eights, and nines. And in these, like look, the eights, the eight times two is a two fact. Eight times three is a three fact. So we really won't have that many more to go um, in these harder tricky facts. So today, we are going to be practicing the three facts and using some strategies uh, that we've already learned before. All right. So finding out here, do you think you know your threes facts? Well, looky here. There's a two fact in it. There's a five fact in it. I'm going to make this a little bit, oop, a little bit smaller just to make sure you can see everything that's on the screen. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now we're going to get started with our three facts. Okay, we're going to check for fluency. Do you know this in less than three seconds? Ready? Here we go. 15. That's a five fact. You should know that. Six. Two fact. Should have known that one. Okay, we'll get a little, maybe a little trickier. 21. Nine. Do you have a piece of paper? You should be writing this down to keep track of the ones that you don't get right away. So you can pause the video. I'll wait here if you pause to get a little piece of paper down to write down. Ooh, that was one I got wrong. Okay, keep going though. 18. Come on. 27. 24. Are you getting these? 12. You might have been a little slow on those last two. Okay. So some of those you were really good at. I bet the five and the two you were good at. But did you know three times eight is 24? Did you know that like you know your mama's face? Or like you know if I showed you a picture of a fruit, you could say apple, banana, three times seven, 21. I think some of these you should make a flashcard for. But let's talk about strategies and how you can know why that is the answer. Okay, three groups of five. Well, this is a familiar slide I'm kind of reusing. But three groups of five, I can move me down. Whoa, not that one. Move me down here, you know, hang out in the bottom. Let's look up here. Okay. Three groups of five can also be the same as five plus five plus five. But we can also use the commutative property to find five groups of three. And that will be the same amount. So three times five, I think it, in this case, it's easier to do five plus five and then add a third group. That's gonna be the most popular strategy for today is to have two groups of a number and then add a third group. So you have two groups of five is 10 plus another group Go over here. What's it going to be? 15. I'm back. Okay. Now, let's talk about that property of uh, multiplication. The commutative property means that 5 times 3, you can flip it and get the same result. There's also a commutative property of addition that we can flip the numbers. The order doesn't matter for multiplication or addition. And now today I want to find out your preferences and I'll share with you which ones are better. So do you think it's better to do 
blank groups of three or three groups of blank. It depends. Let's check it out. Let me show you an example. Two groups of three or what's easier? Three groups of two. Three groups of three is the same as three groups of three. Four groups of three. Three plus three plus three plus three. Or three groups of four. Four plus four plus four. And then so on. So which repeated addition is better or easier? It's I don't think it's always these ones. But this starts to get too many. So if you like solving your threes by skip counting by threes, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. I think there's actually gonna be a better way for these really big ones. So here's what I think of the repeat addition, which ones are better. I think this is better. Three plus three is easier than two plus two plus two. Two plus three is the same as three plus three plus three. Okay. Either way, for four times three, I don't think that's necessarily better than three times four. Because maybe you like doing like three plus three is six and then six plus six. Because fours are like a double double. But then everything after it, I think this one wins. Five plus five plus five is better than three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Six plus six plus six is easier than two plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three. And then so on. So that is what I hope you learn in the video today is that for the repeated addition, it's usually easier for our three facts to think of them or make sure we get them in the scenario where it is three groups of blank for these larger numbers. So that's using the commutative property to flip it in order we can get it this way. So four groups of three. God, oh, I got to keep moving myself around. Okay. Four groups of three would be three plus three plus three plus three. Or three groups of four. Hmm. Well, I know that four plus four plus four is three groups of four. Four plus four is eight, right? Then we can just add one more four. We find out two groups and then find out three groups of four. 8 plus 4, do you know that? I have to. 8 plus 4, 12. So 4 times 3 is 12. What about 3 groups of 6? You like the commutative property here of 6 groups of 3? Uh, maybe. But I think it's better to keep it as is to have 3 groups of 6. Three uh, six plus six plus six. Well, two groups of six is twelve. Add another six. Twelve plus six is eighteen. Eight groups of three. You really want to do that? Three, six, nine, twelve. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to use the ding commutative property to solve this as instead of eight groups of three, three groups of eight. Eight plus eight plus eight. Okay, two times eight is 16. What's three times eight? We can add another group of eight and find the answer 24. Three groups of nine. Cool. Nine plus nine plus nine. Absolutely. So we could do it this way. Two times nine is 18. Add another group of nine. Then we just have to do 18 plus nine. Hmm. Do you know that? Well, lucky you. I can actually show you a nine strategy for this one. If this addition is a little hard. So preview of what the strategy will be when we get to our nine facts. I know do, 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 that nine is close to 10. So instead of doing three groups of nine, why not figure out three groups of 10? Do you know three groups of 10? Yeah, three groups of 10 is 30. But I still need to get this from 10 down to nine. So I'll do 
minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. Okay, so I had 30, but I need to take some away, one from each group. So that would be 30 minus 3. Bring back three numbers. And you get the answer with 18 plus 9 or 30 minus 3, 27. Well done. That was a cool strategy, right? We're almost done. Three groups of three is just three plus three plus three. You could have two groups of three is six. So adding another group of three would give us three groups of three, nine. Seven groups of three could do three, six, nine, twelve. Or flip it to get three groups of seven. Seven plus seven plus seven. Well, 7 plus 7 is 14, and then I add another group of 7. 14 plus 7 is 21. Now, 3 groups of 2 is 2 plus 2 plus 2. You can flip it with the commutative property to get 2 groups of 3, 3 plus 3. Both of these are super simple. This is a fact you probably already knew. Oh, I didn't change that. Oh, no. Mr. D made a mistake. I'll hide it. You know what that should say? 3 plus 3? <laughs> should say 6. That's embarrassing. Okay. So, we did our 2s. You should know these guys. You did your 5s. Here, we've done our 3s. What is next? We'll do these 4s with double-double. And then these... These are the last kind of unique facts. So there's really not that many. We've been working so hard. I would love for you to go, and your teachers too, would love for you to learn these facts as soon as you can. So make some flashcards and practice. That's about it for me. Thank you for hanging out. I know it was 12 awesome minutes. Uh, I hope to talk to you guys soon. Keep practicing those flashcards.